My name is Sergio and in this small tutorial I'd like to show you how to create a WebSocket API service using API Gateway from AWS. But before we get there I'd like to walk you through some basic concepts of API Gateway, how to create basic API service, how to deploy it and other small things which might be useful for us during this small tutorial. So let's go ahead and create a basic API which is going to use some mock data as a response. So search for API Gateway Service. As you can see, there are several options to choose from. HTTP API, WebSocket API, REST API, and public, private REST API. In our case, this is going to be a REST API. Let's go ahead and build it. Welcome to... Oh. Okay, we, we're not going to import anything. We're going to create a completely new API from scratch. Let's call it Hello World API, lowercase, create API. Once the API is ready, we can attach some resources to it. The resources in this case are the endpoints, which are going to be requested by the end user. So let's create a new resource. Let's call it Hello World. Hello World. Let's name it also Hello World. Hello World. And once the endpoint, the resource is ready, we can attach some uh, methods to this resource. So we can choose from this list of methods. Let's choose the post one. And when the method is ready, we can integrate all the incoming requests with uh, some uh, handlers like Lambda function. We can send the data to another HTTP endpoint with mock data, with other services. And let's, in our case, for this basic thing, let's use some mock data. And once this is ready, you can see the whole, whole flow of the request from the client to our integration endpoint, which is going to provide back some mock data and responding back to the client. And you can go ahead and test this endpoint. If you have any per get parameters, if you have some uh, payload request needed in your request, you can fill it in here and hit the test button. As you can see, in our case, there's no data. The response is completely empty. But let's go ahead and add some mock data, some hard-coded data. So in mapping templates, application JSON, that's our type. And here let's add our JSON message. Hello all from API mock. Save it. Go back. Test it again. This is the all the data from the previous request. Let's hit the test button once again. And we can see the message hello world from API mock. So it works. But the question is how we can request this endpoint, this endpoint, this API service from a real world application. <laughs> so before getting there, we have to actually deploy this service. So let's deploy this service. We have to create a new stage. This is like your environment, test environment, acceptance environment, production environment also can be defined here. And uh, let's call it test environment, test environment. And the version of our application is going to be 1.0.0. Deploy it. Once it's deployed, you can see in the stages in here, you have your test environment and you have your endpoint with methods. And uh, when you go into your test environment, in here you can see also the deployment history. All upcoming deployment versions will be listed here, so you can easily switch back to the previous version if you want to roll back, or you can choose which version to keep on this environment at the moment. So in our case, at the moment, there's only one version, it's 1.0.0, which we recently deployed. This is the endpoint, which can be hit to request the data. But pay attention, this is the test environment and in our case we have to hit the hello world. So it should be hello world at the end. Let's copy this link and then let's go in the postman creating a new request. In our case it should be post method because it chooses to integrate with the post method and send request. Message response is here, our response. So that's how it works with the mock data, quite simple. 
the next videos we're going to upgrade this API to use the lambda function. So, see you in the next video.